Broadway is sort of like the main drag of North Minneapolis. And it's, a, and it's obviously the, the street where the highest concentration of African Americans live in the Twin Cities. And it's uh, a street that has been known as a low income area. And some people even consider it a high crime area. Broadway is on the way back. And Turning Point is a key part of being an anchor on the block. Good afternoon, Turning Point. Can I help you? More than 24,000 people have been served by Turning Point since the organization opened its doors in 1976 in Minneapolis. Forty years later, the mission and vision is still going strong. Turning Point continues to meet the needs of the Minneapolis-St. Paul community, beginning with chemical health. The message is clear. Turning Point will always be a time and place to change your mind. It meant a lot to me to see this program turn it around and save as many lives as they had all these years. To know that it's 40 years later, we probably lost count of how many men have been through and how many lives we've saved. But to be part of that is a special part of my life. Even though I was raised up in the civil rights movement, I'm, this is as important to me as that struggle I was raised up in. Our uh, turning point in particular is at like the foundation of my recovery today because it's a place that uh, I just got my start at. You know, um, I can tell you when I was sitting in the waiting room, um, a, a woman by happened to be Miss Reed came up to me and she said, you look like you need some help. You know, I really do remember Mike. As a matter of fact, that's been over five years ago and he's still one of the ones that have stayed in my mind. And the reason why he has stayed in my mind is because he was one of the ones that I could see was ready for treatment, but yet still not ready. And he needed just a little bit of encouragement from someone, and I happened to be that person. There's a firm belief at Turning Point that one touch can change lives. For 40 years, Turning Point has had a lasting impact on men and women who have overcome substance abuse. The memories of success never fade away. And I remember sitting outside at Turning Point with my friend and I, and he was saying, well, Woods, what's, what's, what's the worst we could do? I said, well, let me go ahead and give it a shot. And so I went into Turning Point, and I'll never forget, it was a, a Black History Month. And I learned so much about us and who we were as a people. And it just really helped me to understand that, that, that I wasn't a dope fiend, that I wasn't alcohol, that I was more than that. I, was, I had, I had the creativity in me, and so therefore, the inner me woke up and realized there was a good man inside. And so I went to, I took Turning Point, I'm really thankful for, for changing my life. I get real emotional. Because I think about who I was before Turning Point and who I became after Turning Point. And so I've been dead for Turning Point. I thank God for Turning Point. Turning Point is a pillar of our, in our neighborhood. It's a, it's, a, it's a basic foundational institution for North Minneapolis and Minnesota generally. All of us who live on North Minneapolis are very proud of Turning Point because we know so many people who've been dealing with addiction and recovery and found real help at Turning Point. Some of these folks are people who've been through recovery programs many times before, but Turning Point, somehow in Turning Point, because of the cultural sensitivity, that was where they were able to really regain uh, their, their footing and, and get back on the right path with their lives. Today, Turning Point is more than a treatment facility. It's a multi-service center that has developed partnerships with businesses and organizations to address disparities in the African-American community. Clients and community residents can come to Turning Point for assistance with health issues, employment counseling, legal matters, health insurance, HIV AIDS education, and other concerns. Turning Point has an expanded housing division and provides culturally specific training for businesses and organizations. The expanded role started with a vision in 1976 on the corner of 16th Avenue in Emerson. That location is now known as Miss B's House, where clients are one step closer to sobriety after completing treatment in Turning Point's inpatient program. In June of 2016, Turning Point will celebrate 40 years of service and changing people's lives. You can share in the celebration by calling 612-520-4004 or visit our website at OurTurningPoint.org. Turning Point, 
a time and a place to change your mind. I just want to say hats off to Peter Hayden, the board, all the staff, and everyone at Turning Point, and thank them for helping people get, get sober, get strong, get healthy, and be productive again for 40 years, and may they have another 40 years. Turning Point has been doing this for over the last 40 years, and we, you know, are going to continue to do this. We feel like we are a legacy, and a legacy in this community, and anyone can walk through our door and have walked through our door over the last 40 years. Come see us on our 40th anniversary. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much. I'm